Hello, I'm Dr. Fiona. Diabetes is a serious disease caused by sugar overload in the body. It weakens the immune system, causes nerve problems, and makes the small blood vessels in the body bleed more easily. The eye is usually affected in diabetes, and sometimes the damage can be so severe that the eye can go blind. If you have diabetes, have you ever wondered why your eyes are tired and red? This is because diabetes affects the nerves of the eye and causes us to blink less. Diabetes also reduces tear formation, so the eye easily becomes dry and irritated. Patients with diabetes will also have blurry vision, which can be temporary or permanent. If the blurry vision is sometimes there and sometimes not there, this is due to fluctuating blood sugar levels where you can have periods of low vision when the blood sugar is too high or too low. High blood sugar levels will also cause the natural lens of the eye to swell up and you may find yourself frequently changing spectacles. Diabetes worsens cataract formation and once the cataract is significant, you may experience glare in bright light, poor night driving and permanent blurring of vision. If the cataract is significant, you may require cataract surgery. Besides cataract, diabetes can also worsen glaucoma. Glaucoma is a silent disease which attacks the optic nerve and most patients do not have symptoms until they are nearly blind. Now, let's talk about the worst eye complication of diabetes, which is diabetic retinopathy. This is a model of the eye. The most important and innermost layer of the eye is known as the retina, which is this layer here. The retina is made up of nerves and is responsible for vision. It is sort of like the motor of the car. Now, if anything goes wrong with the retina, we will develop serious vision problems. If we have diabetes, diabetes will reduce blood flow to the eye and the blood vessels of the eye become leaky. This will cause oxygen starvation, bleeding and swelling in the retina. If the bleeding and swelling is mild, it can still be reversed by good diabetic control and special medications. If the bleeding and swelling is severe, you may require laser treatment or even surgery. If the blood flow is too slow in the eye, you may develop a stroke and become instantly blind. Now, since we know how serious diabetes is, the question is, can we do anything to protect our eyes from diabetes? A person with diabetes can have eye complications even from day one of diagnosis of diabetes. So, it is important that you get an eye examination once you're diagnosed with diabetes. An eye examination for diabetes should comprise of three sections, which are vision checking, a dilated eye examination, as well as special scans. Vision checking is when you are asked to read alphabets or letters to see how much you can see. Dilated eye examinations are usually done by an eye doctor where special drops are instilled into the eye to dilate the pupil. This is because bleeding of the eye usually happens at the periphery of the retina and cannot be detected unless the pupil is dilated. Special scans may also be required to see the inner layers of the retina, which may not be seen on a normal eye examination. These scans will pick up any early swelling of the retina layers and look for damage of the optic nerve from glaucoma. The recommended eye screening for diabetic patients is once a year. These screenings, however, may become more frequent should you develop eye complications from diabetes. You can also prevent eye complications from diabetes by having good diabetic control, exercising regularly, as well as adopting healthy eating habits. Also, should you have diabetes and have eye problems, it is best to see an eye doctor early as early treatment saves sight. This concludes our video for today and if you've enjoyed it, please remember to like, subscribe and share. If you have any suggestions for what you'd like to see next, feel free to leave your suggestions at the comment section below. Thank you!